What's up guys, welcome back to the Hangman Performance YouTube channel powered by lsc90.com. So today we're just gonna kinda get back into things. We've got a bunch of projects that have been going on. We haven't made a video in probably a year. So we're not gonna do anything technical today, but we're gonna go over to Mike's house. We're gonna take a look at uh, OG 2.0, see how that project's going. We've also got a new project in the works that there will be a lot of videos coming out on uh, soon. And we're also gonna do a final video probably in a week or two, um, over my 335i. So let's get this thing fired up. We're gonna head over to Mike's and uh, see what's been going on. So we came by Mike's. We're gonna check on some projects. A lot of people were asking where the black car was, if it ever got finished. Well, yes it did. I've been beating on it for a while now. Just never filmed a f ending follow up on it. But it's got quite quite a few miles on it now air condition works great blower makes all the right noises so had it up for sale for a little bit and then decided to keep it so she's gonna be hanging around but got some other plans for this thing some bodywork stuff and and some other uh, add-ons to the engine but for the most part, it's complete. Drayson's free hood. You got a fucking donor car out here I've been stealing parts off of. Because Caesar won't come get his car. Everyone's been asking about the F30. Mike, he hinted at it. Yeah, we started getting it taken apart. Um, my dad did most of this. He pulled the, we dropped the subframe, got the front end of it off so we could see what we're working with. So we're gonna get going on that. I already have mounts jigged up um, for the engine mounts. Uh, transmission mounts, I believe, are the same as the E90. So we should have that going pretty quickly. DME in here? No, what the DME this? is just bolted on top of the intake. Oh, yeah, I kind of like this though. Yeah, it doesn't have a DME box. It actually has fuses there. So it's a little different, but but also pretty much the same. So shouldn't be too bad. This one's just gonna be my dad's car, so it's getting an NA53. We're gonna keep the 8 HP in it. Oh, that is an 8 HP. Yeah, okay, I didn't. 845. Whoo, that screen is toasty. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it needs the usuals. Needs some door handles. Was it like that when you got it from the auction? Yeah. yeah. It has like 200 something thousand miles on it. It's a high mile car. Doesn't look terrible. No, it's not bad. It's uh, it's a clean title. It's not a salvage. I don't know why. I think uh, it was just, they scrapped it because the motor was shot. It had a broken timing chain, like all the N20s do. So. Is <laughs> so everything under here looks pretty, pretty similar to the E90s. Notice that they chinsed up some of the suspension stuff versus them. Added some weird aero, different axles, different... Actually, the diff, I think, mounts the same. It does. Um, it just looks like half the size. Yeah, it looks small, yeah. Just like, that's my hands. Not <laughs> very big. It's got these weird... These are just bolted to, like, rubber. I guess for driveline harmonics. Kind of cool. Fuel tank looks like bigger on this side, smaller on this side. Charcoal canisters up under here instead of in the back, even on a base model car. So it makes a lot of room for exhaust. Battery's still here. Nothing's over there. What's that too? Uh, they had the uh, Oh, the MPP? Valve. Yeah. Tiny little springs. Yeah, but this is all pretty much the same as an E90. And then the F80 has a different different subframe different suspension uh, but this is basically e90 stuff same same two-piece drive shaft look at this little fun guy it's the 335i style spline threaded thing but it has a guibo adapter that goes in it that would have been cool to find out about like six months ago yeah so hopefully we'll keep from here back stock since we're going to keep the trans and everything and we're doing CAN TCU to control the trans. 
going to do max CCU in the car and then eventually maybe get rid of the CAN TCU because max CCU is coming out with 8HP integration so won't need the CAN TCU but for the meantime that works controls the trans like stock so just the NA53 so the trans should be fine if it blows up we'll find out <laughs> Max got him a little, he's been doing some renovations at the house. He got him an air conditioned garage bay now. Yeah. Gotta stay cool. So, nothing has changed here. Just dirty and no harness in it since it's come apart. I redid a lot of the harness out of the car while I was incapacitated and couldn't do much, so I was just doing what I could. And we're working on a cage. I don't think we've shown any of this on video, so it's got a... I can't remember if I ever touched on it or not. Yeah, so it's got a... It's going to be a 25.3, which is way overkill. It's stupid for what I need, but... Yeah, it's not a whole lot more bars, a couple gussets, a little bit larger tubing on some areas versus um, just a regular 25.5. So just went ahead and did that. It was all chromoly anyway. So fit up a lot of this stuff in the last year. And then working on getting it all welded out now. So a lot of it's been rusting. So I've been cleaning it up, trying to get it welded out. But it's almost done. Almost done. Get to, uh, it's got the full floor structure underneath of the car too. So it's got the double frame rail. Um, so that's a full, full race car cage. Um, down bars in it are just not there yet because it's still in raising and lowering the cage up for welding. Uh, but it's just gonna have a column with the pro dash, nothing on the inside. It's all super light. You got a carbon carbon sunroof plug. I gotta put in it. Or no, it's not carbon. It's just fiberglass. It's fiberglass. Yeah. Got four fiberglass doors. Yep. No longer has the stock fuel tank. It's gone. He's got a fuel cell, a little tiny fuel cell for it. Did I do that? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Un unplugged it. Unplugged it. Yeah, we got carbon glass doors that weigh basically nothing. I think they're 12 pounds a piece with Lexan. So got it on the back side. That took a bunch of weight out of the car. Offset cage for the most part because there's like 100 and something pounds of tubing in the car now. Well, what did it? What did it weigh? Um, we weighed it kind of like this with the doors off of it, and it was what was it? Just over, just over 3,000 pounds. No. I thought it was 28. Oh, you're right. It was. 28 something. It was 28, 75 or something like that. Yeah, because it'll be yeah. about. It'll be right. A little over 3,000 with 3, the driver. with the driver. Maybe 30, 50. Uh, so. We can stay under 3,100 pounds with driver done, fuel, everything. And it weighed 3,600. It was 3,600 before with me in it with the old setup. It made 800 horsepower. So if it's few hundred pounds lighter and makes a few hundred horsepower more it should do what we want to do so got to finish up the cage finish getting it well to get it in final position then gonna wire the chassis basic stuff just lights horn blinkers that's it and then get the uh, holly back in it got to plumb the brake system that and like that. should be about it all the race car needs. Some cleaning up to do. Whenever you get Lexan front wheel. Well, it's broken, so I gotta do something about it. Uh, mine needs to be replaced too. Yeah. Before I get, I wanna get Tyler to tint. I'm gonna tint my shit so dark. You I don't really wanna do Lexan, but this get beat up so easily. Or and they're expensive. Right, I just put a hundred dollar windshield in it. That's true. I mean, it's like six hundred dollars. What are we talking about? Fifteen pounds or something? Or? I don't know. Windshield's heavy as shit. Maybe the rear, because it won't get beat up so bad, but still waiting on Tyler to come tint this one. So you should just get Tyler to come do it. Good. I need to get him to do mine. I need to get this out. He's going to leave it, though, because that's all you're going to see. Yeah. Yeah, you just pick something to talk about. Um, so we got some new stuff, figured to make a little video to show you guys. You may have seen them already, but uh, these are driver's side coolant tanks, uh, expansion tank. 
Um, so for the turbo guys, this works out really well. Mounts over in the in the corner, out of the way. Uh, alternator is pretty close to it with the current bracket, but it's all AN, so 12 AN outlet, 4 AN steam port, and then the overflow. You can just run a little hose down into the fender, kind of like the stock one would, in case it ever uh, overpressurizes and spits coolant. So got a few of those left. Working on a new source so I can keep more of them in stock. Um, had the new updated engine mounts. I don't know, some people have had these already. Some people still had the old um, sheet metal style and there was also another tubular version in between just working through different manufacturers. But this is the current new mounts, so they work out pretty nice. There's a little more header clearance because of the way this is cut out um, and they're satin uh, finish as well. Every, everything's black, any color you want as long as it's black. Um, 8.8 mounts. Uh, this is the same design as it was. They've just been updated a little bit. Um, they're all 12 millimeter um, hardware for the diff. Uh, M14s on the rear diff mount, M10s with the subframe inserts. So everything's just been updated a little bit. Um, and these work with the offset for the G-Force axles. Um, also have the billet trailing arms. So these are uh, 6061 aluminum trailing arms. Um, get rid of the stock ones that flex. Um, and affects your toe and camber a lot. So if you're drag racing, this is a really good upgrade just for quick um, fixing some of that alignment change. And those come with new hardware and stuff? Yeah, this comes with all the new hardware because they're a little wider than the stock. The stock ones are just sheet metal, um, but these ones don't have any flex in them whatsoever. Um, and then also the intakes. So some guys have been wanting an intake. So we had these made up. Um, they have our logo on them. They have two. Three ace MPT bones, one's for the IAT sensor, one's for PCV. Um, also comes with fittings or plugs if you're not going to use them. So it has like a PCV 90 um, and the mount bolt. This mounts on the cylinder head. It works best on F body and Corvette spacing um, just due to the way it works. Uh, it doesn't run into the tensioner. Um, you can make it work on a truck, but if you're using like the big L99 um, tensioner, you may run into the tubing. And it comes with a Can-M filter and foreign silicone. Works for um, LS3 style throttle bodies. Um, if you're running the truck one that's 87, um, they do make some little kind of reducers you can use, or you can just clamp this down to make it work on a truck throttle body. So, a little quick overview of some of the new stuff we got going on.